Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past. I have your what sold on eBay and Amazon for the week. I have 25 items. Uh, a few, a couple on Amazon, most on eBay. Uh, a little bit about me. Uh, I've been doing this for 20 plus years. I own two large retail stores for 10 years and uh, did this little YouTube channel to hope to pass along some knowledge and information. Maybe one day make a little money, but you know, that's a pipe dream, but you never can tell. Um, Sorry about this past Tuesday's haul video. I know it's small, but we had family in town and we are going on vacation this week. So I'm actually recording this sold video on Wednesday, but I will publish it on Friday. Next week, I will for sure have a sold video. Well, more than likely, but a haul video, I have no idea. You know, we may hit up some thrift stores if we have time when we're on vacation. And if we do that, I'll probably do a small haul video as well. But anyway, we can jump right in. Um, this was in one of my haul videos just uh, you know a few weeks ago, and this sold pretty quickly once I listed it. I got it for less than a dollar at uh, Ambets. Uh, it's a little Fitz and Floyd glass menagerie snowman, and it sold like I said super quick for $24.99 plus $5.50 first class shipping. This thing was like new in the box. Just a really cool, you know, and it's really nice to sell a. Uh, Christmas stuff in July. Uh, most of these items are items that sold in late June, late June through July a little bit. Uh, the next four items one person bought. I had two of these available. They bought one of these eight and a half inch Starbucks uh, cookie jars with the lid. I picked these up for like two dollars a piece or so. It sold for $22.99. Oh, the shipping is weird because it was combined shipping. Like I said, they bought four items and I combined shipping for them. Refunded a little bit of their shipping fee because eBay's combined shipping is a little bit weird. But uh, yeah, they bought that and they bought an L.L. Bean diner style heavy, heavy, heavy mug that we picked up for like 50, 75 cents our normal deal for $9.99. Really good condition. No spoon stir marks. A little bit of age crazing. When I say crazing, I mean these little cracks in the glaze. See those? That's what crazing means. It's not. It doesn't mean the mug is cracked. It won't leak. It's just the the outer glaze is just crackling. It's called crazing. Next, this Terrapin Beer Company mug out of Athens, Georgia, for twelve ninety nine. This is another heavy duty diner style, kind of like that Elwood Bean mug. Just a pretty, pretty cool mug. I uh, got this at Salvation Army for 50 cents. Yeah, no spoon stir marks. Really nice. There was no comps on this one, so I just threw it up for what I thought it would bring, and it sold fairly quickly. And the fourth item this person bought was this Endurance Sailboat Blueprint mug. This was just really cool. I uh, picked this up for, again for like 50 cents, and uh, no real like brand on the bottom I believe whoops let's check it yeah no brand on the bottom but it was a really nice well made mug really cool uh, $14.99 so those four items one person bought which you know is awesome uh, next this really cool uh, 2008 Donald Duck sketchbook kind of caricature mug Again, paid our normal, you know, 50, 75 cents for this. Like new condition. One of the more unique mugs we found. And check it out, sketchbook. No spoon stir marks, perfect condition. Still listed as used because it doesn't have a box, it didn't have stickers on it, but it was like new. I don't use the term like new, but it, in our in our listings, but it, it, it really was. $14.99 plus $7.25 shipping. Next we have a Peter Millar uh, quarter zip pullover. This is a really kind of a lightweight, it's a little just pullover jacket windbreaker thing. Light blue color had this uh, embroider on it, ha embroidery on it. How, how do you say? How do you guys say that? De Bordeaux. So it must be a golf course or something somewhere. But you know, I only paid three or four dollars for this and uh, yeah it's, it took a month or two to sell but it sold for $34.99 plus $7.25 shipping 
uh, this clock I had for a while. I uh, got it at an auction, just in a box lot of stuff. You know how they do that sometimes at auctions. So hard to pri you know, guess exactly what I paid for this, but it wasn't more than a dollar or two. That's Alice Chalmers uh, tractor's clock. You know, tested it out, worked fine. It was brand new. I listed it as used, but it was in the bag. It didn't have the box, no marks or anything, no appearances have been used at all. But 20 bucks plus 790 shipping. I, you know, I err on the side of caution when it comes to listing new, uh, new other or used or pre-owned or whatever. If you don't want to get a, a buyer a false sense of what an item is. Next we have this California Angels of Anaheim uh, New Era Cooper Sound Collection fitted hat. Uh, this one sold relatively quickly in, in you know about six seven weeks or so I think is in really good condition. You know my hats always make sure they're in pretty good condition or if they're not in really good condition I'm you know make sure they're in the condition I can at least clean them up. Always check your sweat band you know your headband make sure. You, know, you don't have any major stains on it. And it sold for ten ninety nine plus three seventy five first class shipping. I never pay more than usually a dollar or two for hats, so you know, good nine ten dollar profit there. This one's really cool too. This Norfolk Southern Railroad vintage snapback hat, and uh, this one was new. There was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It was brand new. It had the uh, yeah, you could just tell from the sweatband and the insert, see that little white uh, forehead insert, no staining, no nothing. So it was what uh, I got a whole like lot of these hats at a garage sale, and uh, they were all new. You could tell it was just a guy that collected them, you know, and never wore them, just set them up on the shelf. Fifteen dollars plus five fifteen shipping. Uh, these hats I only paid like fifty cents each for, because I like I said, I bought a whole lot of them. Next is other coffee mugs. Sold a lot of coffee mugs and hats and stuff in July. So, but you know, a sale's a sale. This Compu World Fifth Wave Rich Tenant. He's the designer. Rich Tenant coffee mug. Uh, some serious vintage on it. Can't see what it says. Don't panic. Just push the escape key or something. Computer World. Yeah, pretty neat little mug, but it only sold for seven sixty nine plus seven ninety shipping. Still a profit, not great though. You know, if I saw this again, I probably would not pick it up. I mean, with coffee mugs, I like to, you know, if they can get over ten bucks, then you know I'm in on it. But under ten, I'd rather just pass on them. A bounce bar. You guys remember this from my haul video? Picked up this bounce bar for like two bucks, and I told you guys these things are amazing sellers. And this sold instantly for fifty nine ninety nine plus seven ninety shipping person left positive feedback they loved it uh, just an awesome this one was really unique in that it was a scented it was a fresh linen scent 1.92 ounce which is a little bit bigger and it had the holder the holder is this little thing that sticks on the inside of your dryer so you can mount the bar into it but uh, even if they are just refills without the holder and stuff these things sell for really good money and they sell really fast I wish I could find more of them but this is the only one I found in the past several years. So, but keep your eye out because these things are hot, fast sellers. Next, we have this Duke University uh, nice heavy duty coffee mug. This one again was in like new condition, but listed as used. Twenty nine ninety nine plus seven ninety shipping. Yeah, thirty seven dollars and eighty nine cents all in on a coffee mug. This one was a really high end nice coffee mug though. Heavy duty, clean. See that 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 embossed, made in USA. Yeah, super duper mug. Again, we only paid you know our normal fifty seventy five cents for that and got thirty bucks plus shipping. Awesome sale. Pair of Starbucks mugs, a pair of you know coffee holiday mugs from two thousand eleven. Ten dollars plus seven ninety shipping. Probably would pass on those in the future. Uh, yeah, two mugs for 10 bucks is just not really worth the effort. But again, we still made money, but yeah, it all depends on what you want to do. If you're okay with making a $5 profit on something, these are perfectly fine. Another little clock, because Mickey Mouse uh, with the, the Mickey ears clock used. This one definitely was used. Uh, had, you know, some scuff, scuffs and little scrapes. Nothing major, no major... Uh, 
cracks or anything like that. See, they had little scrap scuffs on the ears. But yeah, perfect working order. I uh, only paid a couple dollars for this and sold for $26.66 plus $7.90 shipping. Next, we have these cranes hand engraved uh, notes and envelopes. These sold fairly quickly. I picked these up at our normal half price thrift store for just a dollar or two. And they sold here, actually they sold here locally in Northern Virginia, but you know, they still paid for first class ship five, shipping $5.50, $24.99. So yeah, pretty good sale. Uh, and it was actually a, I won't, I will never, you know, reveal exactly who buys my stuff. You know, I'll say this movie studio, that movie studio, but like I said, this sold locally here in DC and a rather big, let's just say political name purchased these. So it was pretty cool. Next we have this uh, Tilly Thomas knitting pouch. My wife picked this up for just a couple bucks and uh, it took a couple months to sell, but I got $35 for it plus 725 shipping. Yeah, this was used, but uh, it was in really good condition. So yeah, keep your eye out. I had those little, whatever those things are called, needles, whatever. <laughs> I don't know anything about knitting. But yeah, really neat little things. So keep your eye out for that Tilly Thomas stuff. Make some good money. Next, we got a couple things from Amazon and then I'll flip over to my second eBay account. Uh, we got sold this Belkin double-sided cord concealer. Uh, this sold to a business and I only paid a dollar or two for these at a, at a flea market we rarely go to. It took a while to sell. Uh, $24.93 plus $5.49 shipping, which does not cover shipping for this item. One of my pet peeves about Amazon. Um, people want things for super cheap and they want free shipping. You know, and I just, you know, you can't have it. To me, you can't have it both ways. Either you're going to pay a premium price for that and get free shipping. Or you're going to pay a, a real realistic price and pay for shipping. You know, people just want it all though. But anyway, it sold for thirty forty two plus shipping. Uh, well, most of shipping anyway. I had to pull out of pocket for a couple dollars shipping because this was priority mail shipping. No way this was uh, first class. Next, we had a really good sale. Another Panasonic cordless phone. This was used. I listed it as used. It was in very good condition. I tested it, put new batteries in it, and it was in perfect working order. This sold for $173.09 plus $549 shipping, which is about eight bucks light on shipping. But you know, got $173.09 for it. $178.58 total. Uh, profit was good on this. I think I paid oh ten twelve twelve dollars and fifty cents for this maybe ten bucks so yeah some really good profit on that item and next we have these uh these were mine these are Merrill chameleon stretch sandals i wore these for several years uh, didn't wear them completely out but I always keep the boxes in my shoes because people like that you know and I was thinking about just donating these. Uh, these had originally had straps across the back. I've lost the straps, but I still had the box and they were still have some, you know, life left in them. I wore these to a lot of places, you know, I, you know, you can still see sand in the, in the crevices. And I kind of put that in the listing. I was like, still has some sand from St. Lucia in these. Had a little wear, you see the little wear spot. But yeah, still had the box original box and you know I like I said I got several years of use out of these and still got 1999 plus 850 shipping for them so 20 bucks in the pockets better than donating them right these were in my a recent haul video these sold super quick I got these for like a dollar and uh, yeah sold instantly for 10 bucks plus 375 shipping this little foot joy uh, roll top socks and that's the price they should have been priced at you know you know, I'm like everyone, I'm like, when something sells super quick, I'm like, oh man, did I price that too low? That was a fair price for those. And they just sold instantly and got lucky. Unlike this, this took uh, several months to sell, but, you know, got good money for it. This is a Workrite men's uh, flame resistant, kind of reflective stripe little shirt jacket, what people call them. Brand new with the tags. 
I paid three or four bucks for this and got $34.99 plus $7.25 priority mail shipping. I really, really enjoy selling this industrial commercial stuff. It's, it usually brings, you know, really good prices and sells relatively quickly. Which is a nice little sell. This sold super quick as well. This was in a, a haul video as well. This was, I listed this as new other because it was brand new. I opened it up. I drink coffee every day so I can tell if something's used or not. Uh, brand new, but it didn't have the box. I uh, only paid a couple bucks for this. Uh, I'd have to go back to the haul video to remember to see exactly. But uh, like I said, sold really quickly for $29.99 plus $7.90 shipping. So yeah, really nice sale. See, I took pictures of the bottom. That's on the inside. You can see how super clean that is. The uh, lid, super clean. No like coffee stains or marks or anything. Just super nice little sale on that Hamilton Beach uh, Stay or Go craft. This sold really quickly as well. Now I lagged on listing this. I had this for a long time because I just didn't ever get around to listing it. This is a Scan Globe Type Y Illuminated Constellation Globe. So it's a globe, but it has the star constellations and stuff on it. You can see you've got close-ups there. Yeah, it has the shapes of the animals and the stars and the constellations. And like I said, this is a, a an illuminated globe. So I turned off all my uh, photography lights around in my little photography area I have there and, and turned the globe on, and that's what you see glowing. And this sold instantly for $29.99 plus $10.40 shipping. And I only paid uh, like 2 or $3 for this. So it just goes to show, don't let your stuff sit around forever listed and it'll sell just like this one. Alright guys, last thing. This little Fairfax County Police Department, that's a county, one county over from us here in, the, actually right across the river from us in the, here in Northern Virginia. This is a challenge coin. This was in a, one of those random bags that I get every once in a while that only, you know, we only paid a dollar or two for. And this sold instantly for $12.99 plus $3.50 shipping. So that's it, guys. I got 25 items that sold on uh, Amazon and eBay. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. You know, I'll respond. I want to give a shout out to all our subscribers. Uh, big thanks to uh, Margo and Andrew for uh, joining me on the, the my first live stream, that little mini haul this past Tuesday. I rewatched it and I realized it froze a little bit, but uh, that's just the vagaries of live streaming. But thanks, guys. Have any questions? Let me know. Like I said, on vacation, but I will try to hit you up next week as well. You guys have a great weekend sourcing. Later.